Okay, let us discuss problem 1.134. This is an easy problem. Distance covered on incline, we have to find. Let me read the question. A, a body of mass m is pushed with initial speed v0 up an inclined plane at set of at angle alpha to the horizontal. So we have an inclined plane. So let me make the diagram. So this is the inclined plane we have. This inclined plane makes an angle alpha with the horizontal. The object of mass m is thrown up with velocity v0. The friction coefficient is equal to k. So there is a friction and this friction coefficient. So this and inclined plane and the ball have a friction coefficient. So let us say friction coefficient is given to you k. So k is basically friction coefficient. So k is friction coefficient. So k is given to you. Now let me read the question. So this is what distance will the body cover before a stops? So what is the distance travelled when this stops? So you have to find what is the distance covered over this surface when the final velocity becomes zero. Now many ways to do this problem. You have to also calculate, so I have to first I have to calculate distance s before a stops. Now the second part of the question says, but what does the friction force performs over this distance? Work done by friction force. So we have to find work done by friction. The second part of the question. Now many ways to do this question you will have. So if you see, if this is going over this incline, what will the acceleration, basically deceleration. So what will the deceleration? Everybody can answer this question. So let us say what are the forces that is acting. So if this object is moving up, you will have mg sin alpha that is acting in the downward direction. You will have a friction force and this is going up. So friction force will also act downward because this is a tendency to go up. So friction force will prevent the direction. So k times mg cos alpha because normal reaction will be mg cos alpha. No need to explain in details. You know now. And if you does not know then there is a problem. So mg sin alpha downward, friction force kmg cos alpha downward. So total force downward will be, I can say total force in the downward direction will be mg sin alpha plus k cos alpha. Now what will be the acceleration in the downward direction that the force by mass? So g sin alpha plus k cos alpha. So this is the acceleration are getting. So what is the distance covered? You see V square minus U square is equal to 2s. V square is equal to U0. U square that is given initial velocity is V naught square minus 2as. Basically it should be plus but the acceleration is negative. So in downward direction and the object is going up. So 2as and A is G sin alpha plus K cos alpha into S. So from here I can find S is nothing but V naught square divided by 2Z sin alpha plus K cos alpha. Now you have to find what is the work performed by the friction force. So work performed by friction force will be friction force into distance. Now friction force is acting. So F dot ds you will have work done. Now friction force and displacement both are opposite. So friction force in acting in this direction and displacement in this direction. So the cos theta is 180. So this will be minus F into ds. And the friction force is kmg cos alpha. This is the friction force you have. And the distance travelled is this v naught square divided by 2z sin alpha plus k cos alpha. Are you getting? So this will be simply V naught square. So work done will be minus. If you want you can divide by cos alpha. So G goes out. So this G, this G cancels out. So we will have K V naught square into M. So let me write K M V naught square. And if we divide by cos alpha. So we will have 2. 
sin alpha by cos alpha is tan alpha and cos alpha by cos alpha is 1 so simply k are you getting so this will be the value of work done by the friction forces Now this is a pretty easy problem, there is nothing new in this concept. Only thing is you have to remember what is the acceleration down the incline that is g cos alpha or g sin alpha plus k cos alpha. This is the acceleration down the incline and if you know the acceleration you can calculate the distance covered up. And if you know the distance covered up friction force will be forced into displacement and the sign will be negative because friction force is acting in the downward direction and object is moving up so there is always a angle of pi that is cos pi is minus 1 and that's why work done by the friction forces is minus and that is happening you see if you apply the work energy theorem you see what is the energy you have change in kinetic energy is equals to work done now what are the forces that is doing work one is gravity and another is Another work done is done by basically friction forces. So you can do the same problem using work energy theorem. In that case, you have to apply change in kinetic energy by total work done. And total work done will be work done by the friction forces plus work done by the gravity also. So you can solve this same problem using that concept also. In that case also you will get the S. We will discuss the next problem.